the brains of modern dogs are larger than those of their ancient ancestors. Modern dogs have bigger brains than their ancient ancestors. Scientists came to such conclusions after studying the breeds of quadrupeds that have developed over the past 150 years. The reasons for this evolutionary change are still a mystery. Comparing the skulls of 159 breeds of dogs and wolves, researchers found something unexpected. Wolf brain size is 24% larger than a dog of similar size. However, the more a breed of domesticated dog differed genetically from its wild cousins, the larger the dog's brains became. This suggests that modern farming has resulted in an increase in cognitive abilities in people's best friends. Previous research has shown that the domestication of wild animals, such as dogs, cattle, rabbits and cats, leads to a reduction in the size of their brains. Scientists believe that the reason for this evolution was a reduction in the need for brain power when it comes to survival or obtaining food. Because living with humans made it easier for these animals to exist. The research results were published in the journal Evolution. Dogs can live in different communities, performing complex tasks that probably require more brain capacity says evolutionary biologist Niklas Kohm of Stockholm University in Sweden. So the researcher and his colleagues hypothesized that some dogs bred by humans for complex tasks, such as herding or sports, would have larger brains. However, this hypothesis turned out to be wrong. And the results of the study surprised the scientists. The only factor that seemed to affect the relative brain size of modern dog breeds was how different their genes were compared to those of wolves. Breed-specific tasks, litter size, and life expectancy had no effect on brain volume. These findings are supported by other studies. Scientists recently proved that the tasks some dogs are bred for do not affect their genetic code. The size of dogs' brains may have been influenced by factors such as a more complex social environment, urbanization and having to conform to more rules and expectations, speculates ethologist Eniko Kubanyi of Eötvös Loránd University in Hungary. This is consistent with the social brain hypothesis, which posits that these organs can grow in size over the course of evolution to accommodate more complex social environments. Previous research has shown, for example, that dogs that are more closely related to wolves are less able to communicate with other people. The researchers plan to compare the size of different brain regions of dogs and wolves in the future. Perhaps then they will find an answer to the question of what impact we have had on dog brains and behavior. The extremely precise mass measurements of the W boson do not match the standard model. Scientists have managed to make the most accurate measurements yet of the mass of the W boson, an elementary particle that is the carrier of the weak force one of the four fundamental physical forces. After a decade of meticulous analysis, the W boson turned out to be much more massive than expected, suggesting that the standard model, one of the most important theories of modern physics, needs to be improved. The standard model is one of the most important theories in modern physics. It is a theoretical framework that describes nature at its most basic level. Scientists use it to describe all known elementary particles in the universe and the forces through which they interact. The model began to be developed in the 70s of the last century. However, scientists are aware that it is limited, and although it is our most comprehensive and accurate model for particle physics, it contains gaps that make it unable to explain everything, such as gravity or what dark matter is made of or why the universe is we observe much more matter than antimatter. 
Scientists are looking for particles that behave differently from what the standard model would predict to help explain some of these mysteries. Recent findings can be included in this effort. A team of physicists from the CDF Collaboration Project at the Fermi National Accelerator Laboratory, Fermilab, has discovered that the particle, known as the W boson, is more massive than theories predicted. The W boson is an elementary particle mediating the weak interaction. It corresponds, among others, to for the processes that cause the sun to shine and particles to disintegrate. In turn, the weak interactions belong to the four basic physical interactions, next to the gravitational, electromagnetic and strong interactions. Since its discovery in 1983, various experiments have determined that the W boson weighs as much as 85 protons but its exact mass was difficult to determine. Together with its cousin the Z boson, the W boson is involved in most types of nuclear reactions, including the fusion that powers the sun. In experiments at Fermilab, the mass of the W boson was estimated with the highest precision yet, twice as accurate as the previous best measurement. The scientists determined the mass of the particle with an accuracy of 0.01%. After a decade of analysis, it turned out that the W boson is heavier than theoretical predictions. Although the difference between the prediction and the experimental value is only 0.09%, it is significant. After extensive analysis, the team calculated the mass of the W boson to be 80,433 mega electron volts, MeV, with a margin of error of only 9.4 MeV. The best theoretical prediction was 80,357 MeV with a margin of error of 6 MeV. In an article published in the journal Science, the researchers describe nearly a decade of analysis of data collected by the Tevatron Particle Accelerator, operating at Fermilab between 1985 and 2011. In the accelerator during this time, various particles were collided with dizzying speeds in order to study them. Then, over 10 years, more than 400 scientists analyzed a dataset of about 450 trillion collisions. During the work, scientists took into account advances in theoretical and experimental understanding of the interaction of the W boson with other particles. The number of corrections and additional checks that affected our result is enormous said Professor Ashutosh Kotwal of Duke University, who led the team that performed the meticulous calculations. When we finally revealed the result, it turned out to be different from the predictions of the standard model, he added. If the results of the analyzers are confirmed, this could be the first major violation of the standard model of particle physics and will indicate a potential need for improvements to or extensions of the standard model. The new value is consistent with many previous measurements of the W boson masses, but there are also some discrepancies. Further research will be needed to shed more light on this result. While this is an intriguing result, the measurement needs to be confirmed by another experiment before it can be fully interpreted, said Fermilab Deputy Director Joe Lucan. The new measurement of the mass of the W boson is the most accurate measurement of this fundamental quantity in particle physics ever made. It provides a very rigorous test of the standard model. This is one of the most successful theories in all of science. It predicts the value of the mass of the W boson, motivating us to make an equally precise measurement to compare and test this theory. But our measurement is significantly different from theory. This may indicate an unknown principle operating in nature, said Professor Cottwell. It should be noted that this is not the first clue to physics beyond the standard model. However, 
The level of precision in this work is beyond previous research. This measurement is the most significant deviation ever observed from the standard model predictions. This is our biggest clue yet that we don't fully understand the weak interaction or all the particles that experience this force. This measurement points to exciting new discoveries in particle physics in the coming years, explained Cotwell. The implications of this discovery are not yet fully understood. It is possible to simply adapt the standard model to the new measurement. Or we may be witnessing the beginning of a paradigm shift with new physics on the horizon. However, the first key step is to obtain independent confirmation. Now that the data has been fully analyzed, the scientists analyzing it will work with other members of the particle physics community to better understand what this result could mean and where to go next. The Large Hadron Collider at CERN is also collecting data on the W boson, and it may be possible to build new experiments.